In this picture, we're going to change the direction of the light source from the top left to the bottom right, which requires darkening some of the highlights and brightening up some of the shadows. So you're going to click on this option on the left hand side and then go on burn brush. Since we want the light coming from down here, we're going to have to look at where the light would naturally hit the elephant to make it realistic. And we're going to start that by adding some shadow onto the other side of the elephant, so up in this corner. And making sure to change the opacity and the, the size of the pencil as you go. So this bit in the corner is a little bit too bright, so if I just keep trying to darken it, it's just not going to look right. So I'm going to change this to highlights, and so then I, I can darken down, so it can focus on the highlights and darken it down that way. This isn't going to be perfect, it's just a very quick tutorial. Since I've had a lot of questions about it. So now that we've darkened one side and we know where the light's going to be coming from, I'm going to go back to this option and then go on the dodge. I leave all the options the way it is and on the mid-tones. Just going to turn the opacity down a bit. This is lots of small little actions, so just take your time and keep in mind where the light's going to be coming from. So at the top of the two front legs is in quite a lot of shadow, so I'm just going to brighten that up by going onto shadows and then brightening it up that way.
So that was just a brief overview on how to do dodge and burn on Affinity Photo. Here's the before and after. Have fun editing and thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.